Hey, welcome to Fix It for Josh's sake. Uh, today I want to take you on a short little process here of working on this carburetor. In my last video, I put a brand new rebuild kit in it, some uh, new brass here. Uh, so it's ready to bolt into this 1972 Articat Lynx. The problem is, as I was looking at it here, the choke assembly, it goes to the shaft and then it flips the choke inside of there. Uh, well, this is all kitty wampus. So uh, I'm going to show you how I peen this so that it goes down tight and doesn't sit there and wobble around because that'll, it just feels janky and I don't like it. So we're going to get that tightened up. Let's uh, fix something for Josh's sake, should we? Let me uh, introduce you to my thought process here. So this is all wobbly, even though inside it still will actuate the choke. It's just that this needs to be peened over more. You can see the gap there. And so that drives through right to that pin. So I looked for something that would set in there and hold that, but then not uh, interrupt anything else here. And this one inch socket fits perfect. It sits right in there. It's going to let me drive straight pressure down onto the anvil and uh, have some good peening pressure on the top of this rolled over collar. So that's how I'm gonna go about it. Let's see if this works. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here is I have a center punch. It's got a pretty nice shoulder on it. it sits right down into the collar there. I'm gonna have that pressure straight down on the one inch socket. It's a little tricky doing this all one handed, but we're gonna try it. Let's keep everything square, that's the goal. And drive that pressure in. Oh, I think I had it off before, but this should maybe be right. Might be a two-man job, but I don't have anyone to call today, so I'm going to fix it myself. <laughs> The, I'll show you in a second here, I guess I can pull out and show you now. The collar is starting to split, which is just fine as long as it rolls over and gives you a little bit uh, of less play on this choke. I'm fine with that rolling, cracking a little bit and kind of crushing out. Uh, that doesn't bother me at all. So we're going to keep working at this. Well, that's a bit of a circus act, but as far as the play in there, it's gone now. So that is properly peen tight. You can see it split there and there, but that's okay. It's, it's now tight, and the choke actuates like it should. I'm real happy with that. So if you have to do any maintenance on your carburetors, uh, that is how you would go about tackling that project. Thanks for watching uh, Fix It For Josh's Sake. Uh, enjoy your next project. Let's uh, go out there and get something fixed.